Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to give you guys an update for day three of the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show this in a T10 map, mainly because there's this crazy interaction right now with the uh, Harbinger and the, essentially the uh, Harbinger reinforcement. So let me go ahead and pop this in just to show you guys. It's a little crazy right now. Uh, the build is progressing pretty well to give you guys a rundown before we jump in there. I snagged most of my medium clusters. I just have to actually craft them now. None of them are crafted with proper uh, dual notables, so they all have Burning Bright. This one has Burning Bright Vile Reinvigoration. Other than that, they're all just regular Burning Brights. And then just recently, I slapped on the Molten Ones Marks. The medium clusters are pretty expensive. Day one of the league, I got them for like anywhere from 10 to 15 C, and then after that, they were pretty much 20 to 30 C each. The large clusters were not that expensive when I bought them. They were like 7C or so. And then, of course, I just crafted them myself. The Molten Ones marks were literally one chaos. Uh, you just buy the base jewel and then craft and then get Molten Ones marks and like 30 alts. Yeah, and then this small cluster here will go into life. So when we go Corrupted Soul, we're going to get like a probably about an extra 3,000 energy shield because we can actually scale ES and take like Arcane Focus and potentially foresight based off of how much ES we actually have. So right now the build is still a bit squishy because we, uh, remember, our, our Righteous Fire is on, but we barely have any energy shield as a buffer, and because we don't have Corrupted Soul, 100% um, of damage hits ES unless it's Chaos. So by the time the damage is down to our life, we don't have a buffer of, of uh, ES, which means we don't get to make use of our life regen right now unless it's Chaos damage or our ES breaks. When we have 4,000 ES and 5,000 life with Corrupted Soul, half of that damage hits my life pool while I'm regening 1,000 per second, which makes it much, much, much more tanky um, for like sustained fights and in general if you're not getting just straight up one shot. Uh, I decided to drop a Quicksilver, which I don't usually ever do. The only reason I've dropped the Quicksilver is because I'm not Chaos Cap, and because of this right here. Ooh, boy. Okay, Harbinger. So that's... I'm gonna die here. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, so I know that this is a tier 10 map, uh, but as you can see, the Harbinger reinforcements can be really, 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 really crazy. I think I'm actually where the map boss is and I got pinned. No, actually the map boss might actually be over there. So this is what I'm currently trying to uh, face against with my build. And I really think that if I had Corrupted Soul and fit in Arctic Armor, I couldn't face tank it, but I could definitely, and Tempered by War, we could be much, much, much more tanky to that. Um, I'm pretty sure what's happening though is my frame rate just goes to complete shit and I can't really like aim anymore and because i can't aim i can't shield charge so like fortify falls off slash i'm just face tanking eight gazillion rares at the same time but like for uh rituals and stuff even red tier rituals it's not really too scary uh i will say influence mobs and in red tier maps can be a bit spook still um as again we don't have tempered by war which means we only have 79 uh, 79 lightning and 79 cold. Tempered by War makes it so 50% of the lightning damage and 50% of the cold damage will have to hit my ES. Sorry, we'll have to uh, get... Basically, they get converted to fire. So, since we run 90% fire res, we're 89 right now. That will make us much, much, much more tanky. And then physical damage taken as fire on helmet and on chest piece will make us much more tanky. I don't have either of those yet. I was also considering maybe going for a budget option and going with like a six link Cloak of Flame versus what I'm running right now because Cloak of Flame has 20% of physical damage taken as fire. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, no, actually, the boss did pin me. Yeah, because, like, I'm pinned right now. Wait, character? Wait, hello? Uh, GGG? Uh. Uh. Slash OOS? Um. Portal? Okay, so I'm dropping portals, but I don't know where my character is. I think I'm desynced, but I don't actually fully know. Hmm. No, I'm getting hit? No, that was... Nope. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, my Path of Exile experience has been really, really, <laughs> really interesting this league. Um... Anyway, let me go ahead and just rip that map and go throw in a higher tier map to show you guys. Here's a Mineral Pools, although this is Valdu's. We don't want to do Valdu because Valdu is, is Monka Giga. Museum. Because that's got the uh, really upsetty spaghetti harbingers on it. Actually, you know what? Even better. Here, I have uh, got my eye on I think I have an influenced map here. Drox's Citadel. This is going to be Drox on a... What tier is this? 77. With Delirium, no okay. No one but me. So I just recently okay, finished with the Betrayal Farming to get our trigger weapon. If you look in there, you'll notice we have um, Orb of Storms being triggered, which is awesome. I don't have to use Inspiration on it anymore. You can trigger Inspiration solely with the Scorching Ray. I've also got Frost Shield on too. Uh, I'm not sure how useful Frost Shield is yet, but like mechanically based off of what it says, it should theoretically be very, very good for bossing. And then I've got Calling Strike on there as well, but I don't notice Calling Strike really helping us too much at the moment, so I may switch that for like Stormbrand and just have two different things. I must have time to gather my will. Don't want to pop my wall skill here. Where is she? Okay. Um, I don't want to fight Drox with Delirium right now. Fuck it. I'll try to fight Drox with Delirium. I only have a four link Scorching Ray, so I don't think I'm ready for this this yet exactly. But here we go. Okay. Good. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, as you can see here, we do take some damage from these. That's because our physical resist is not the best yet. Ophidium Aim. I've never even heard of that node. So next future plans for large damage increases would be crafting a Elder Helm. Uh, I'm not really sure how to go about doing this. For sure, item level 75 plus Elder Helm base. I think what I'm going to try to do, I need to go look at like Craft of Exile or PoE DB and figure out the best way to go about doing it. I'm probably going to use the Essence of, forgot its name, but 30% more dam elemental damage in Helmet. Then after doing that, I have to check the prefix and suffix count. And then I think ideally we take it to harvest and see what we're able to do with add-in removals um, for trying to hit like conch effect 
uh, and burn damage. I know burn damage obviously would be like a fire roll as an example. I'm just really curious at like how easy it's going to be because something like that would be like massive because our RF, our RF AOE would go down a little bit, but the damage would like double essentially um, via using conk effect and getting the essence of horror for like a seven link. And that, that will be much better than what I had in the original for the minus fire res, assuming we can even get that. I mean, realistically, even just two would be good, like conk and burn or like burn and Ellie even. Ellie being the 30% more because then I at least can put Scorching Ray on a six link and then I gain two extra links for Scorching Ray, which would make the single target uh, quite a bit higher than what we have right now. Don't forget, if you guys are curious, you can always import my character, Pox, P-O-H-X, uh, into Path Building at any point in time. Um, this character is Pox Inquisitor RF. The only thing is, I posted, if you guys saw the, the first YouTube video, my Path of Building URL got flagged for, um, like, essentially, uh, nudity and pornography for YouTube. Not exactly how that works. I'm guessing it's like a bot detection sweep that happened and maybe the URL contained like XXX in it. So I can't actually post the URLs because I don't want to risk my channel at the moment getting completely hammered from that because if it happens again in a week, which again, I have absolutely no control over, uh, I'm not going to be able to post for a week. Uh, I posted that in my community tab. It's kind of silly. Um, so this will most likely, you're just going to have to import slash there's a build command on the Twitch. And then on the build command, it shows the POB from basically this morning, uh, which is pretty much uh, updated. So I do apologize about that, but there's not much I can do there. Um, yeah, and then other than that, I'll go over my gear and just talk slightly about my links. And then I'll do this trade after this video for this guy. Don't you worry, boys. All right, what do we got here? No, no. Oh, I mean, sure. Oh, well, four joys. Uh, that's good enough. We'll just leave. No problem. Okay, so to go over the tree and to go over the gear, again, uh, we pretty much have most of our jewels set up right now. We could save quite a few points on our tree if uh, on our large clusters we ended up I mean, it's not really realistic, but if we end up rolling the proper, uh, essentially one to two, I think even just rolling two affixes, if I can get Burning Bright to be here instead of here, this would be ideal. Um, just because that would save me quite a few points because then I don't have to touch the back part here at all. Um, since as of right now, I have essentially six extra points being used. So this is probably the number one point to try to to save is uh, actually my large clusters. Then with those extra points, I could go into a small life cluster here, so we could get a lot more life out of that. Uh, I could easier cap my chaos resistance here. I could start hunting for two point jewels over here. We've got Scion Life Wheel to fill in. Um, also more importantly, when we get Soul Tether, we'll need those extra points to go into efficient ES nodes, I, I think. I'm also considering potentially dropping um, potentially dropping this part here in which and going through here but for the min max version essentially you're going to need a little bit of mana because vitality takes a flat amount and our other auras are percentage via flesh and stone and purity of uh, fire so if i want to fit in arctic armor um i'm probably going to have to stay here for the mana yep other than that let's go ahead and cover the gear so i ended up farming betrayal to uh, get trigger so I've got Trigger right here, which basically is automatically casting the Frost Shield, the Orb of Storms, and the Culling Strike that's linked basically to the Orb of Storms. So when I am... Actually, yeah, it shows it. So whenever you cast a skill, it'll basically in cycle use those, those two. So you can see like I Shield Charge and then Frost Shield, I Shield Charge and then Orb of Storms. Uh, so that keeps up the Elemental Equilibrium and that keeps up the Elemental Overload. Very nice addition. Uh, my helmet, nothing too crazy. Uh, I just explained pretty much the Elder Helm is something I want to try crafting with Harvest. Um, since you can pretty much globally open your stash from Harvest, I'm making a Harvest tab here to start working on uh, things to craft. Since this really only has like 
Cash speed, a tiny bit of burn damage, plus one fire and trigger. This could be a lot more damage on here. Zephyl's frame we have with our corruption. This is pretty solid. Um, again, our links here are burn damage, scorching ray, inspiration, infused channeling. And here we've got purity of fire, flame dash, flesh and stone. Uh, ideally, moving auras to a four link with an enlightened setup, but I'm pretty link starved right now. Our RF is efficacy, righteous fire, inspiration, ink, AOE, burning damage, and LE focus. In our boots, we have Infernal Cry, Urgent Orders, Second Wind, Enduring Cry. I really like this addition, but it is taking up a lot of sockets from us. Um, I think maybe when I get Corrupted Soul and I just have super, super obnoxious regen, I might not need the Enduring Cry anymore. And whenever I can get an Explosion piece, I probably won't really need the Infernal Cry. But for now, we are. it really makes a big addition for us. Uh, in our gloves, we have Shield Charge, Fortify, Faster Attacks, and then the Unlinked Vitality. Uh, boots, nothing really too crazy, just trying to really prioritize that Chaos Resist. Belt, again, we're aiming for our Corrupted Soul Belt, uh, which is the Replica Soul Tether. Then over here, I've got more gloves with, not more gloves, gloves with Chaos uh, Res. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. A nice tip is... The Holy Chainmail has a Divination card set. I forgot exactly what it's called off the top of my head, but the Divination card set is pretty easy to farm. I don't know about farm for, but it's very, very cheap to purchase. Um, it's the one that gives the six link Holy Chainmail, so you can actually buy the Divination cards unless the prices have changed for about 15 to 20 Chaos for a six link Holy Chainmail. And then what I did is I just crafted, because we get so many essences now from this league, I just slammed the Chaos Resistance craft on it uh, and then just, you know, whatever was semi-usable, I just grabbed. My resistances are already pretty solid, and I can min-max much, much, much more resistances. Uh, we're almost ready for Tempered by War, and again, I could get much more resistances. I just opted out to get more regeneration now, but then right as I opted out for regeneration, I put in my Molten Ones mark, so my regeneration feels great. I just really want a much larger energy shield buffer to really make use of it, because right now, I mean, the build's not really super squishy, it's just not super crazy in terms of tanky. And when you're playing a build like Righteous Fire, and you're literally in the center of everything, my goal is to just be able to survive. As you saw in that Harbinger situation, uh, you know, we got completely mobbed. Uh, and the only way to really survive that is have insane layers of mitigation and defenses, or something like life gain on block, or energy shield gain on block. But before I try to transition into block, I want to continue... Uh, essentially with what we're doing because I really do feel the defense layers are solid Yeah, other than that, I haven't really looked for a watcher's eye yet um, But yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm pretty happy with the character I just got to play it some more farm some more, you know get some more currency and get my higher upgrades uh, And I really think that'll make a massive difference. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video Remember if you want the build you can come to my stream and use the profile command you can use the build command uh, and I'll try to upload the uh, update the POB command, but for now just use the build command. Um, I can't link it because of the YouTube bot sweep that basically screwed me over, but if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Um, I hope you guys like the character. Feel free to ask me any questions on there. Have a good one.